welcome to The Culture Show. We talk fashion tribes with photographers Ari and Ellie in the run-up to their new exhibition documenting British style. Nobody escaped their evil categorising, not even yours truly. Am I America's Next Top Model? Yeah! Yeah! Have a look at this. We all like to think that we're individuals, unique, unique specimens. specimens. But could it be that each of us conforms to a different fashion tribe? Two people hold the answer, Ellie Uttenbrook and Ari Vers Lewis. They spent 14 years documenting fashion subcultures. Are you ready? We all recognise goths or bouncers or skins as part of a tribe. But in their photographic series Exactitudes, Ellie and Ari have categorised almost everyone. It's a never-ending collection of style. We try to find people in the streets who have a similar kind of fashion. In some series it's just a look, in other series it's really a lifestyle. At home in Rotterdam, they celebrated what they call the Fly Girls. They paste their hair on their head with little yeah. curls. In China, they found boys in hand-knitted sweaters. In Rio, they found gay guys who were happier with their clothes off. You see them in the streets with a package of cigarettes, of course, in the swim um, trunk. And in New York, post 9-11, they found the yupsters dressed for comfort and iPod portability. A lot of them are fathers who actually don't want to grow up. Now Ellie and Ari have been invited to London by the Photographer's Gallery in Selfridges. I've come to meet them in the studio they've set up at the Swish Oxford Street store. How will they create a new series of exactitudes here in London? Tell me what it's like to look at London through your eyes and how does it compare with other cities? One thing that we found quite heavy was the fact that the whole London was Eat, Nero, Starbucks, Boots, and it felt like the people were the same as all these stores of the same brand. So yeah. That was quite shocking. Yeah. We were very depressed in the beginning, so we were like, where do the English have their traditional teas? And uh, it's all, you know, so Americanized uh, at the moment. That, that made all these shops, made that the people also looked very grey. So how do you go about trying to uh, scratch the surface of London? You meet people uh, who you think they are great for the, the Siri, listen to their stories, write down where they're going to, which clubs, which bars, the places where they hang out. And, they, and since our, some of the groups are quite subcultural, you get the right information from them. And then, you know, you, it's like peeling an apple, you know, and you come to the... the, the the core of it. The thing is that it becomes tribal because they want that, for instance, with the 40s girl, they say, oh, you have that girl working in Vivian Westwood, she should be really in the series. Of course, they want to be with her in the series. Ooh. What a good face. It's not just 40s style pinup girls who have caught their eye. Ellie and Ari are also onto a tribe of scruffy boys in pea coats. In Holland, we call this called a bunker. That's it. And we like the fact that they have practically no hairdo. Another series they're hoping to complete is made up of rich Chinese girls with desirable handbags. The girls that uh, shop Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior and all the expensive handbags and expensive brands. To see how an Exactitude series is created, I'm joining Ellie and Ari street casting in the city of London's Square Mile. Today they're looking for well-dressed women to start a new series, City Girls in Tailored Suits. Can I ask you something? They've seen uh, a woman in a trench coat and she's got quite high heels. I think they were seduced by the heels. Are you a city girl? That's the question. Yes, I'm yeah. Do you wear a suit? No. No? <laughs> Not at the moment or never? No, I never wear a suit. Really? Yeah. Okay, but we thought that almost all the city girls wear a suit. No, not anymore. No? City style might be more casual these days, but Ellie and Ari will not be deterred. So you don't wear a suit never at all? No. Only skirts? Yeah. Then we'll let you go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and thank you so much. Bye. Okay, ciao, ciao. Ellie and Ari are used to scouting many candidates before they find one that's right. Yeah. Excuse me, yes. can I ask you something? Sure. We're two photographers from Holland, and we're working on a big project about style. And we're actually now taking pictures of proper city girls, we call them. Girls that wear proper suits. <laughs> Do you consider yourself one? Well, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay. I'm Ellie. Ellie, nice to meet you. I'm Ari, nice and I hope to, to see you. you in the studio. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. good afternoon. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. She's a good one. She's a good yeah, one. Very yeah. Good. yeah, she had everything. Yeah. The heels. Very the nice. Look at you, you're really excited. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Two days later, and our classic city girl has come to the studio to kickstart the new series. Sort of similar style, and actually it's quite simple. It's just with yep. the hands on the back. One, two. And now we do it on film. It looks like Ellie and Ari are well on their way to selecting tribes for London. Yes. Yes. But while they're in town, we couldn't resist the opportunity to hear what they have to say about some of our very own presenters. Two, three, chuck. The vote material, one, two, chuck. Be as straight as can be. Fantastic, that's a good one. I've got it all. Am I America's Next Top Model? Yeah. Yay! Explain how each one of them fits into a tribe. Tom is, is uh, quite casual, and uh, I think there's a lot of top men involved. Well, Lauren is quite confident of her own beauty, I think. She comes in in a quite tomboyish way with the short, uh, hot pants. Makes it always very sexy. Really? Yeah. That's me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she can wear actually anything. She still be, be beautiful and that's what you see, blondes have more fun. Mark, yeah, he just, that's the way he is, uh, in a way. <laughs> yeah, when he, when he comes in and you see him walking on his Dr. Martens, like, okay, that's something I still have from 20 years ago. And then I looked at his haircut, which was slightly rockabilly, but I had a lot of uh, ideas about Morrissey with him. Very British, very British. And what about Andrew Graham Dixon? Yeah, he was lovely. He actually had the same glasses as me, Cutler and Cross. And I loved when he, when, when he came in, was the, his perfect handbag, a true gentleman. The, those guys, they were very interested in youth culture when they were in their 20s. And they stick to a certain style. And that is proof that it's rather difficult to change. So are you saying that Mark Kermode and Andrew Graham Dixon are part of the same fashion tribe, the fashion nostalgics? <laughs> it's true, absolutely. And then, okay, give me the bad news. Yeah, and then you, of course. It was so perfect to see the, that A-line. Well, I knew that you were shooting the clothes and not really me. See how professional you are? <laughs> Three, yes. It's almost time to reveal their final selection. But first, I have an important question. Is everybody part of an exactitude? No. no. Not at all. No, 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 no. 80% of the people isn't. No. No. Not everybody stands out in the crowd or dresses completely uh, um, with, with the full awareness of what they're doing. But most of them, they just, you know, they want clothes and they put clothes on, but that's not what we're looking for. So here are the chosen few. The London Exactitude series. The show opens at Selfridges this week. Perhaps the city isn't quite so great after all.